Hey guys, welcome to my unboxing video today. Um, I think I'm putting in the title what the math is, but I haven't really announced it. So we are doing Singapore math. So um, I haven't seen this anywhere, the home instructor's guide. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it, but I have the curriculum and a bunch of manipulatives that didn't come with it, but I added on to show you guys. <laughs> not open this box by the way I only got this out because I was really excited to look at it um so the home instructor's guide is a little bit different I think I'm gonna do a flip a separate flip loop through video because I couldn't find one and I was looking for one um but it's not colorful like the other like the regular dimension but it's the size of um I don't know if you can see that it's the size of like a regular the same workbook textbook size Whereas the regular dimensions is huge. So I'm, it's a little thing to be excited about, but I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> so I got the instructor's guide, the home instructors, um, textbook and workbook for level 1A for my six-year-old. Um, he has like two pages left in his um, last one. And then the kindergarten ones for my four-year-old. Um, I already have the, they don't have a home instructor's guide yet for Dimensions Kindergarten. I don't know if they're making one actually, but um, I still have the regular teacher's guide. So we'll just use that. Um, and before I dive into this, I wanted to show you guys what I got um, on Amazon, I guess. So real quick, I was debating between, I have a video comparing um, Singapore math and the Good and the Beautiful's new math. And I said in it that I was going to use the good and the beautiful, but I actually changed my mind and <laughs> went back to Singapore. That's what we've used for a few years and I just love it. Um, and so another math I was actually debating was um, Schiller math. It's Montessori approach, which I'm just kind of naturally leaning towards Montessori. And um, it came with a bunch of manipulatives, which I really loved with that idea. So I went ahead and kind of made my own of uh singapore dimensions so i got this one this one i thought looked the best um it's interlocking had good reviews and so what i've done is i ordered um like a little manipulative box off of amazon and it's, it's a craft box but um, so i have those in here the um oh my gosh i can't think of it oh cuisinart rods which i just got those two um counters i've had dice um 10 frames and um, like the little things that you put on them. And then in the last one, I'm gonna put something in it from in here. So anyway, I thought that that was great because I'm always kind of like searching. Okay, can we talk about how they pack this? I mean, I'm glad they're like reusing, but this is like, I would rather not have any of it. Um, I'm not great at taking out math manipulatives and Singapore, you kind of need it every time. So I think it's gonna work really well having that. And, um, oh my gosh, this is really big. And just being able to pull that out all the time. Okay, holy. I did not know this was gonna be literally bigger than my head. What? Okay. Well, there's that. I don't really know where that's gonna go in my life, but, um, yeah. So anyway, it's a, like a teacher's one. So you spin it, it's geared and you can hide. I don't know if you can see this. You can hide the numbers so you can kind of like test them. Um, yeah, I did not know it was going to be so giant. It was on sale for like under $20. So I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I'll get like a, a little bit bigger of one for me. But... Okay. Um, I'm going to get a bag for all this paper. Okay. I have the paper out of the way. And they could have used a much smaller box because... It was like all paper. Okay, so these are the clocks that um, we're mostly going to be using. And they're a size that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> oh, they're really cute. Okay, so there's these little ones, and they are geared as well. Yeah, so when you turn them, so when you turn the minutes, the hour slowly goes. Um, which I really want a geared ones. The Schiller map had that in it. Um, so this is the thing. I'm going to put these clocks in that other empty compartment. And well, not all six of them, but um, in the little manipulative box I made. 
Um, Schiller Mouth also had dominoes and they said that they use them in a lot of different things. So I think I'm gonna try incorporating dominoes. Um, I'm not gonna put this in the box because it's already in this giant plastic thing. And I think the kids will like to just kind of play with this too. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try incorporating little math activities with this. Um, I got some of these um, laminated 100 boards so we can use dry erase markers with it. And then it's just a grid on the back. So I can use it for different math things like um, charting or filling in the 100 board like without looking. Um, and these um, number bond activity cards, which I thought would be kind of fun for them to work with. And then the last thing, which I'm like very excited about, I've been following um, Jack and Link wooden toys for a long time. And it's, I've always wanted something from them, but they're kind of pricey. They sent me two, which is awesome because I have two kids. <gasps> See, it says like Jack and Link back here. So cute. Okay. So it's a wooden hundreds board, and so you can use it for skip panning, so you can put little marbles in, and um, I'm just really excited to get using this. So I think it'd be fun to kind of like cover up some of them to help them count by twos, or like to cover up these, to count by fives, um, things like that. There's just a lot of things you can do. This is another one I'm going to look up. So that's all of the stuff I got. I did want to show you guys this one little book that I got, too, from Usborn. Um, it's, I think I might've showed this in another video, but I wanted to show it in the math one. Um, it's really helped my son with telling time because we haven't worked a lot on it. Um, there's like so many little flaps. And after looking at it for a few minutes, he's like, mom, do you know there's 60 minutes in an hour? And it was just really cool. Singapore hasn't um, gone over time yet. We do that pretty soon. So we've only done like a little bit of what we talked about. Um, anyway, that is everything. You know, actually, I'm going to show you real quick. My mom got them a few math games. They're out in my car. I'm going to go grab them and show you guys this too. <laughs> okay, so not that we necessarily needed an another clock, but I thought this little game looked really fun. It comes with a lot of different activities um, and a geared clock, but this is actually a good size. I'd really use this than that giant teacher's one. Um, this is also what it comes with. So this will be good for both of my sons. Um, I thought this was really cute for my, sorry, can you see that, um, four-year-old. So you're just matching up the dots with the numbers. We don't really have a lot of things like this, um, but now that we're in a bigger house and we have space for it, I thought it was kind of a fun little thing, and especially since I have my one-year-old, I think that she will like that very soon, too. Um, and then this was just the last thing. So we do have some of these, like, link cubes. And they don't really go together that well, which is why I have the Cuisinart. Cuisinart? Cuisinart? Cuisinart is like a kitchen brand. Cuisinart rods, I think it's called. <laughs> um, anyway, they don't stick together very well, but this was a really fun little set. So it comes with all these different cards and just like, it's very independent. And I know that my six-year-old is going to be able to do this um, on his own, just kind of like one of those quiet time activities. Okay, so that's all the math stuff I think that I've gotten this year. I've been ordering stuff like a little bit at a time. And yeah, I was just so excited. I'm, I feel really good about landing on Singapore because it's just, it fits us. I think Schiller would have as well, but it was um, just, there's not a lot of information out there on it. And so it was kind of hard to really decide if I wanted to do it or not. And the kids love doing math, so we're sticking with Singapore. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see us um, implement Singapore math, I am having, I do have a um, like lesson in the life video. And um, I'll probably do one again soon since we have all of these fun new manipulatives. All right, have a good one, you guys.